Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be unboxing the Heritage Rough Rider Revolver. Now if you've been to a gun store, you've definitely seen one of these on the shelf. They typically range from $150 to $200. They're made by Taurus and they're fun little plinkers. So let's get into it. So opening up the box here, you've got your manual um, registration packet. The gun, I've already taken it out of its bag. Um, the gun came with just a 22 LR cylinder. I, pot, I bought the Magnum cylinder separately. Uh, I got a great deal on it, so let me tell you. So when I went to the gun store, typically I've always seen these, like I said, for $150 to $200. I went to a gun store the other day, and he had it, they had it sitting there for $120. Bucks. I saw it for that. I thought, yeah, I'm taking this thing home. I didn't like the grips on the one on, in, that was sitting in the display shelf. So I told the guy, meh, $120, bucks, whatever, I'll take it. He goes in the back, brings me out a box, and it has... It's this one with these grips. And I said, yeah, I am not passing up on this. I'll take it. So I got it for $120, went on Heritage's website, used the promo code the gun came with, and got the Magnum cylinder for 20 bucks more. So all I knew at $140, that's a no-brainer. I was like, that's a win for me. Now to show you the difference between the 22 LR ammo on the right and the Magnum ammo on the left, there it is. Now the 22 LR ammo is very dirty ammo. By the time I got done with my range session, my fingertips were just covered in black residue, but it was a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, let me show you guys this real quick. Uh, this thing has been safety checked. All the cylinders are empty. There's nothing in any of them, as you can see there. Now this gun is single action only, which means you cannot pull this trigger until the hammer is cocked back, at which time the sear is engaged and pulling the trigger will drop the hammer and your round will go off. Uh, regardless, it's a lot of fun to shoot. Reloading and unloading it takes a bit of patience because after you're done, you gotta open up the loading gate and every single round has to be independently ejected using the ejector rod right here. Yes, it was slow. However, it was fun. Now this revolver does have a safety, a manual safety right there as you can see. When you drop it, it's disengaged and it will fire. Red is dead. If you push it up, now the safety is engaged and the hammer will not drop all the way and the gun will not fire. I see a lot of people hating on the safety on these versus other similar revolvers. Honestly, I don't see what the problem with safeties is. There's a lot of people on YouTube that hate on safeties in general. I mean, it's just an added feature. If you have it, great. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. I'm just not sure what the hate behind safeties really is. I mean, just an added precaution. Not everybody's a, a gun, you know, connoisseur. A lot, there's a lot of newbies out there. So I, I feel like safeties are a good way to go. Now, Rough Rider has a huge array of variations of this exact revolver. You can get it in a four inch cylinder, a six inch or longer. You can get it in the uh, bar keep model. Uh, there's a whole whole variations of these that they sell. Um, not to mention Ruger has their own version and so does Diamondback now with their sidekick, which I heavily did consider until I saw some YouTube reviews about the sidekick that I didn't really like. And then when I went to the gun store, the gun store employee was having issues with it that I felt like, eh, okay, maybe I'll just pass on this one. Um, so the reason I stuck with this or the reason I went with this was A, like I mentioned, the price. B, I just liked, I think this one has the more authentic cowboy revolver look, you know, versus the other two models. If you guys have a Ruger or a Sidekick, let me know what you guys think, what you guys like about those. Um, this is just my two cents. Obviously, it's my opinion, not bashing on the other two models. I'm just telling you why I got this one. Now changing the cylinder on these guns is also very easy. All you need to do is push down this spring pin here. When you do that, let me show you here, it releases the tension on this pin here. You can just pull that out. And after you pull that out completely like that, you open up the side loading gate and the cylinder just slides right on out. You put in the new cylinder, push the spring pin back and when it snaps into place, you're pretty much good to go. Now, just to give you a heads up, I don't know if you guys might run into this issue. When I first got this, it was a pain in the butt to get this out. It just wouldn't come out. But after the first few times, it loosened up and now it's just like I showed you, pretty easy. And that has been my quick little review and unboxing of the Heritage Rough Rider. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. 
And guys, I have range footage coming. I promise I work alone, so I don't have anybody to hold my camera for me. I've got a stand coming now, so I'll be able to shoot better content for you guys, better videos. I did have some range footage from the prior videos, but the footage was just trash. It wasn't really even worth showing you guys. So um, be patient with me. Again, please be sure to like and subscribe to motivate me to keep bringing you guys better content. And give me some feedback if you guys want to see some other uh, videos of other firearms or just any kind of feedback at all any constructive criticism i'm all for it you guys have a nice day take care